You ready for meditation? Let's take a deep breath. Come on out and join us, Joe. So for meditation, Reverend Brenda and I have both um, taken on the challenge that she gave us of picking a favorite quote from Michael Singer from each section of the book. And so we're going to have a mantra meditation where we just share with you the thoughts from Michael Singer. And you just sit with them. You just sit with that. Maybe one will resonate more than others for you. They're all available for you after the service on the app, so you don't have to let your mind grab the pen and start writing. Just be. So we take a deep inhale and exhale. We acknowledge the mighty healing presence right here in this sacred sanctuary here on grounds at Unity Village where so many have had their healings, their epiphanies, and their awakenings. And that experience right on Check, check. <laughs> That's right. You are right here with us right now. We are all part of one energy, one community, one field of God consciousness. So we allow the healing, radiating love, light, and wisdom to flow in us, through us, and as us in this mantra meditation. You get to the point where you realize all you're ever doing in there is trying to be okay. First, you think about what will make you okay. Then you go out and try to make it happen. The one who is seeing all of this is the most beautiful thing in the whole universe. You're in there. You know that you're in there. And you've been in there all along. Mm. This is our first encounter of what surrender and acceptance really mean. We don't surrender the outside world. We totally accept it. What we surrender is our personal made-up judgment of it. You suffer when the moment in front of you is not the way you want, and you rejoice when it matches your preferences. Eventually, you will come to realize that it's not the job, the spouse, or the car that gets old. It's listening to the mess in your mind that gets old. There are no problems. There are just learning experiences. No matter what happens, you are becoming greater. Suffering is caused by the contrast between what we mentally decided we wanted and the reality unfolding in front of us. You're trying to figure out how each choice will make you feel later. Use your mind to be creative, inspiring, and do great things. Don't let the mind always be thinking about itself and what it wants. When the emotions are unpleasant, we may try to change the inner experience by letting our thoughts distract us from what's happening in the heart. The mind becomes a place the soul goes to hide from the heart. You're consulting your inner mess and expecting a clear response. Letting the opening and closing of your heart run your life is certainly not spiritual. You're not being true to yourself. You're being true to your blockages. You only have two choices. 
Either we devote our life to getting the world to match our samskaras, or we devote our life to letting go of our samskaras. You only have two choices. Two choices. Either you devote your life to getting the world to match your samskaras, or you devote your life to letting go of your samskaras. Hmm. How many incidences from our past would we like to truly be done with rather than having to deal with them mentally and emotionally long after they are ancient history? You feel when something starts to bother you. If you want to grow spiritually, that is the moment you do the work. Inhaling and exhaling into the silence. The highest life you can live is when every single moment that passes before you is better off because it did. Namaste. Namaste.